Hi everyone, welcome back to Minddesk. Today we're going to go over how to create a tower in Grasshopper using Minddesk. So once you launch Minddesk, make sure to go back to your definition and disable the Minddesk buttons. Once Minddesk launches, go ahead and re-enable them and you'll notice right away that it will populate the model. In this case you'll see it on the left here. Some functions take a little more time than others, uh, but it is relatively fast. Once you see that the geometry matches the same uh, designated colors you set in the definition, I'm going to transition into the uh, VR now. This definition relies on two polygon curves. So just by grabbing the top polygon and bringing it down, you'll see immediately that the exterior skin, the cladding, the structure, the mullions, and the floor all move back down, keeping the same floor height. Functions like scale also become really useful in this type of sculpting with Grasshopper and Minddesk. Again, you'll notice the populating model from bottom up. You can also scroll around and take a look at your model as it is working. Using the same exact command, I'm going to go inside the model and scale the bottom polygon and see how it affects the interior view. And this is going to be really helpful for something like a grand stair or lobby, something you really want to experience it while you're modeling. So in this case I'm going to pull it a little bit to the right and within seconds you'll notice the exterior skin begin to populate all around it. Once I'm happy with that I'm just going to take a look around and right away you'll notice the central core of the building adjusts because of the geometry fixed. And that's it. Thanks everyone and stay tuned for more Mindesk case studies.